one of the questions that I get asked a great deal is about EFT, emotional freedom techniques, or some people call it tapping. So the question that I get asked a lot is, does it matter which side we tap? So first of all, I'm going to give you the answer to that question, and then I'm going to show you how to actually tap and all the different ways that you can tap. So it really doesn't matter which side you tap. You're tapping on meridian points and it really doesn't matter which point you tap. And people get really hung up on, am I doing it right? You know, am I putting enough pressure on those sorts of things? So I'm going to run through a few of the things that people sort of ask me. Um, you know, when I'm talking to them about EFT and when I'm showing them how to use EFT. So, we can either start on the karate chop here, or the area that I tend to recommend is here. This is the heart healing position. And we do a setup here. So that would be really what you want to achieve from this session. So um, let's say you were um, worrying about a meeting that is coming up. So you take a nice deep breath. So even though I'm worrying about this meeting, I just choose to relax and enjoy the experience you, just, you can really say whatever it is that is in your head so we start off with the negative and we release the negative so this worry is what we would be focusing on so we, we do the setup three times with some nice deep breaths and then we move to the top of the head the third eye now this is where we can go this side, this is like the, the start of the eyebrow. So we can go this side, this side, or we can do both if we want. And we want to just be tapping very, very gently. You know, Some people think that if they hit really hard, it's going to be more effective and that's not true. You know, you, you don't even have to tap if it bothers you. Some people find the tapping quite um, uncomfortable so you can actually just rub the area or you can even just just touch it okay but I'm just going to carry on with tapping for this demonstration so we can tap both areas and then we go to the outside of the eye underneath the eye so you can do it that side you can do it that side you can stick with the same side all the way through or you can change around it really doesn't matter under the nose so that's back to one point the chin area and this then we go to the collarbone area now this again is an area that people get very confused about so you want to run your finger along and you've got the dip here and then the bones running along there and then the bone running down the middle. You want to be going down to the soft area just below the bone here and at the side of the bone here. Okay, so again you can rub that area, you can just touch it, you can tap on it. Some people like to do the Tarzan tap, which is fine. Some people like to do this. Um, I personally just like to just gently tap on the area. Okay, but again, you can do this side, you can do this side, you can do both. Do whatever feels right for you. Okay. So the, the other tapping points that I regularly use are the wrist points. So I like to tap them together. Um, my, um, the person who trained me uh, when I was doing my EFT master practitioner's training told me about this point and it's not an official EFT point. It's, it's an, a point that's um, recognized by kinesiologists as being a really sensitive area. So 
we tap on this area if you want to. The other points that we use are the, the thumb and the finger. So I tend to tap with three fingers to just cover the whole area, but you can tap with one, you can tap with two, just, just do whatever feels right for you. And go through all of the fingers. Remember that you don't need to tap hard, it's just a nice gentle tap. And then we've got the karate point. This is a big point in EFT and some people do use it as a setup point. I don't tend to, I tend to do the heart healing position as I showed you before. So we can tap like this or we can tap like this. And again, you can tap on either side. Another tip that I want to share with you is water. So I really recommend that you drink some water before you start tapping and after you've done a few rounds. So just take a, a pause to check in with yourself, have some water, ask yourself how you're feeling. You know, are, are you still feeling those, those negative feelings? Can you move into positive EFT? I'm not going to do an actual EFT um, demonstration today. I just wanted to clear some questions up. If you have a look around my channel, you will find other EFT videos with you know, some ideas of how to tap and the actual full demonstration of, um, of using the setup and tapping on the different points. So I hope you found this very, very helpful today uh, because it, this is a question I get asked a lot. You know, which side shall I tap? It doesn't matter. Keep the tapping nice and gentle. You don't even need to tap if you don't want to. You can gently massage. You can just even just touch the points. If you've got any more questions for me, ask them in the comments area below this video and I will reply to you. And be sure to sign up for my channel because there are more videos being added all the time on EFT, Law of Attraction, ways to achieve your goals, anything that I can share with you to help you create the life that you really want. Take care for now and I will see you soon in another video. Bye.